of September. Fish everywhere. Tiny, tiny back, black bass. Let's try to catch some little perch, which are legal. This is how you catch stripers right here. Striper bait. Striper bait. Let's go get a bucket. Oh, Owner hooks very sharp. Okay. So you're gonna put your back hook. You want to basically you take your fingernail and you scale a little spot because otherwise the hook won't go through very easy. And then you poke through the skin and just get like a half inch of skin in there. And then roll your front hook around and poke it through the mouth. This is how I'm doing it anyway. There, now the fish can breathe still. It's not, not hooked through the spine or anything, so it's got plenty of action still. We'll send it. Let's send it. I could do this all my life. <laughs> I think you already have. We had a fish out there looking at it right out there, so we're gonna try right out there again. Anytime your minnow panics and you see a little throbbing, you know there's a big fish swimming by it. At it. Well, good luck, Eli. It's like a little four pounder, quite lucky six. 
Is it going to be a long fight? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there, let's get a better perspective. They're notorious for running really hard at first and then giving up. So he's on a run right now. They don't jump, huh? Watch for logs in this river. And you're the net girl probably, or I can net if you open the net up. But we'll see what happens. All right. There you go. There's your little uh, we are. first ever striped bass caught in Oregon for us. <laughs> New York. Oh yeah. I've never even seen one in Oregon. <laughs> Yeah, you better back up a little yeah, bit more. It's beautiful, I'd say about six pounds. Awesome. These are non native species, these are an introduced species, and so now the limit on these is no limit any size because these are competing with the young salmon smolts in the river because well these large fish like to eat little fish so we're gonna bleed her let it bleed throat latch it like that there we go Gonna take the whole side out. Mm-hmm. Last time I cooked a striper, 
I threw this part on the grill. It was really good. All this meat right here, we just picked it off after it was all nice and smoky. Ooh, he ate a crab. I told you there's crabs there. <laughs> That's what was eating our bait other than him. Is it male? Can you tell? Huh? Uh, I would say yeah. I don't see any indication one way or the other, really. There's no big sperm sacs or anything like that. High tech fish cleaning station. That's a heck of a worm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you rigging up a wire leader, Eli? Uh-huh. Nice 
Well, the tide's going really super fast right now, so we're not able to fish on the bottom very good. So I'm just kind of going to jig around for salmon for a little bit until the tide slows down. And then we'll try to get some rockfish. This stuff here is pretty good. That stuff will stay on the hook pretty well. And it's nice and juicy. Mmm, juicy. I caught, caught a little ling, but it ended up being this beautiful, ginormous, ginormous, ginormous copper. That's copper about a rockfish. Three pound copper. Beautiful. Probably ain't gonna swim too good. We just found out you can't keep these right now, so I'm gonna let them go. Okay. There you go, buddy. You know what that is? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway. That's going to be our bait for when we go for ling cod here in a little bit. Try that again. Don't fall in the ocean. Well, it makes for a good drama anyway. Drama, real kind You need any help? You want me to hold the rod? Push this out. Push that all the way up. Okay. Slider, twist her back. Oh, all the way up higher. Now down. Down, down, down. Hard as you can. Shit, is it even sticking in there? Hold it. Oh, fuck. God damn it. It's still on there. Okay, let me hold that. You can get that out. We have the handline on. Put the rod tip down towards me. Down for me. Some gloves or something, Eli. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's quite the adventure. Eli's gonna try to hand line in. Yeah, we didn't get that all on video because yeah, that's all right. Then we got the 20 pounder, that's what we were after. Yeah, it was getting right, right close was... to the end, you know, right where the tide switched too much to catch him. That's the biggest one I've ever got out of here. That's way bigger <laughs> than the last one. Months. This belly be down. This belly will be down like, like, like this. They get so big. Look how big those fins are. Jeez. Look at the hand. I got big hands too. <laughs> Lead your fish. Woo!
helicopters. See how we get uh, We had to go to the dollar store because it's a holiday weekend and things are closed already. And we didn't that little aerator, but it didn't come with any tube. So we can send it like you had it. It's on there. I don't know how we're going to hold it in place. Let's plug it in and see if we get any action. So here's the deal. The main thing is we have to get super early tomorrow and we won't have time to catch bait. So we caught our bait today because we're going to try to go catch some more stripers tomorrow. So we caught bait today and now we got to try to keep them alive and we don't have a live well because See if this does anything. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's there's our live well. <laughs> if you guess right, you'll get to eat fish for dinner. Okay. I think he's like 31 inches. Okay, that's a good guess. Yeah. Why would I guess differently than you? I'm not, I'm not 33. 33. Nice. I'm gonna guess 11 pounds. I thought 20 at first, but no, it's gotta be the heavy. <laughs> this is how you weigh it. This is redneck style. I'm at uh, about 176 with all my clothes on, probably. It's under 72.5. <laughs> I haven't eaten today. 173. And now, suddenly, I weigh 188.5. What is that? Uh, 73 plus 5. I like to go way up in there. Way up in there, get that head meat. A little bit bigger knife would be better, but we like to live on the edge. Light blue meat. <clears throat> Anthocyanins. I believe is what they call that, what makes food blue. And once again, there's a side of Linkai. Whew. See, they're different than a striper. The bone's a lot flatter. You don't, you don't get the huge, you know what I mean? There's very little meat between here and the spine and the, uh, whatever those other bones are called. I really don't even know what those bones are called, the ones that come out of the spine. Ribs. No, these are the ribs here, here and here. The ones that don't go lateral, vertically. <clears throat> There's your uh, reason why the fish aren't super huge yet, because this is how small the row sack is right now. This row sack on a fish like this would probably weigh about five pounds in December. This fish would be so much bigger than... There's 10 pounds of flays right there. That definitely is a 15 pound fish. That's easily five pounds of meat on each of those. Yeah. Okay. Cheeks. Cheek meat is always tricky. Big old choppers.
just get in with it. So what are you gonna do with the carcass, Eli? Huh? What am I gonna do with the carcass? Well, you know, I like to salt that and grill it or salt and smoke it and then peel the little bits of meat off, mix it with some cream cheese and some <laughs> sour cream and make myself some smoked ring cod dip. <laughs> Super good. We don't waste that stuff. Be aggressive. Break its neck. <clears throat> there. I'm going to eat this stuff. This stuff, the crabs are going to eat. And then we're gonna eat the crabs. <laughs> That's right. Except for today we were nice, we let him go. Because <laughs> we have enough meat for two people for days. There's <laughs> 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 And this I'll just snap in half. We're dealing with what we got. Come to the fishing cabin, you don't always... We don't always use butter. In fact, most of the time we use olive oil, avocado oil. It's getting golden the best of the can is what we got. We got a little bit of striper, we got a little bit of link card, and then we got a whole lot of vegetables. So we're eating healthy once again. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. I thought it was gonna be too salty, but it's actually right there. Mmm. That's juicy. That's good. this morning at the boat ramp it's salmon season but we're going out for a striper You want to catch a big striper or a small one? You want a big bait or a little bait? Big, big, big. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we like. Live and kicking. weedy out there.
bump. Come on back now. Uh oh, I got the bait. Damn it. I think he got the bait. Come back to the other pole. Oh, the striper. Right tip of the boat. You want me to bring the other line in? Oh, uh, that be good for now. Okay. The little guy. Striper nursery. Little guys in here. That was quick, huh? Baby, oh, <laughs> what little, little three or four pounder? He swallowed it. I can't believe he swallowed that whole fish. He's a little guy. He's bleeding. He'll eat. in right now I'm going okay there was a boat. boat boat made noise fish scattered for a minute and they'll come back and chop on our food hopefully it's a lot deeper here than it was in the last spot so and there might be a big one here the sun doesn't hit the water here till later so Interesting, huh? It's a school of fish. Little school.
I'm not seeing any following it today. Last time they were following it pretty good, but we were using Rapalas for it. That's a keeper dungeon right there. Well, that's a huge dungeon right there. <laughs> that is nuts. Crazy. We're not at the crab today, otherwise I get a pull out and catch that sucker. In turn! Back to your friends. to the open right there. A couple coho, that's really weird. They're way early. Those are not Chinooks. Those are silver salmon. Coho, whatever you want to call them. Big ones. More steppers. Yeah. It didn't look like anything was there, and then I lifted this up like this. Oh, yeah. Wild grapes. Great for making wine. Mm -hmm. Elderberries. The bats are quite really easy. Even when they're wet, they break really easy. Yeah, so they're all different flavors and they're all different in, uh, maturities. So far, as some of them have started to filter out a little bit. Oh, that's another elderberry one right there. That's all elderberry. That one's elderberry and plum. Oh. Well, it looks like lentil soup. I don't know what that looks like. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Nice well, color. Mm, that's like the other one. That's more fruity? Hmm? No, more alcohol. Oh, more alcohol. Because I think I use the same kind of yeast on both these ones. And that one's an old one. This is my last batch of elderberries and grapes, and I'm ready to start filtering out all the extra stuff. But we can do a little taste sample. It's still going. It's going to take a while yet. Yeah. Oh, still... Try these canned cherries. Those are those wild cherries we picked. They <laughs> yeah. are super intense, good flavor. Good flavor. You don't need nothing with them. Shoot those out of the tree. Oh, almost like it. It's a sample time.
I'm sure it needs another 10 days or so. Let's see. Hmm, this is more potent than that already. This is a grape and elderberry. That's plum, and that's just a mix of whatever I... You can catch your own fish, you might as well make your own wine, right? This is how you did. That's enough. 